welcome back to my channel or if you're new then welcome i don't know why i decided to start this right now i'm literally putting my earrings in but today is a thursday it is i'm thinking saturday when you're seeing this so just a few days later but i don't know if you'll be able to hear it but it is pouring outside today um yesterday i was literally at the beach got like a sunburn slash tan and today it's just pouring out it's so dark outside and it's just making me feel really lazy i'm glad i didn't see the weather um like when i first woke up because i woke up and went to the gym and like got a workout in but i feel like if i had seen this weather i would have just been lazy probably anyone else like highly affected by <clears throat> the weather i used to not but i feel like like this year it's really like started to like my mood really heavily depends on the weather but anyway no one asked um i hope you were all doing well I was planning on like after I saw the rain I was like you know I'm just gonna have like a bummy day but then I was like no let's pick up the camera and let's have a productive day I actually had like an appointment um, this morning and I went it was like a waxing appointment and I went and I had gotten the day wrong so that kind of sucked it's actually tomorrow at the same time I feel like that kind of like threw me off and I was just like Ugh, like versus the weather and now this and like first world problems I know so anyway this is all to say that I want to have a productive day and I figured picking up the camera will give me a good excuse not that I need an excuse but a good way to do that because I can like share what I'm doing with you all um and it'll like make me want to do more so that I have like something to film you know what I mean this didn't need to be this long of an explanation but um yeah I'll show you what it looks like outside because it really is like ridiculous I'm wearing a sweater for the first time in a long time because it's just I was like it's sweater it's <laughs> it's sweater weather today so um yeah let me give you actually a quick little outfit of the day I'm being very comfortable this sweater is one that I got kind of recently from um actually TJ Maxx and I think it's really cute and then I'm literally wearing a sports bra underneath because it's comfy um and then I'm wearing some black leggings I think these are actually also from TJ Maxx so I'm very TJ Maxxed out today and then I did my makeup really quickly. I had also did my hair, but I did it again very messily and quickly. I just like curled a few pieces um, and then like put up half of it in the back in a bun and called it good for the day. But look outside, it's just like so dark and yeah, not, not ideal, but that's okay. We're gonna turn the day around. I have my coffee, which is needed. And we're gonna start the day off by doing some cleaning i feel like if i start the day off with cleaning then that'll be like something productive that i'm doing at the beginning of the day and then i'll like want to keep that productivity ball rolling i think i'm going to start in the kitchen because there's just like clutter and stuff um but yusuf is on a business call like for work right now so i'm gonna like time lapse this part and then i'll chat a little bit more in a minute not that you guys need to hear me chat more but let's go clean <music> I realized I didn't give you an update on these shelves, so I stacked, I like folded our um, extra towels and stacked them on the top just to make it actually like have a purpose and like be useful. And then on this one, um, one of my friends gave us, why is my camera not focusing? Gave us this frame with pictures from our engagement, so I just like stuck it right there. And then in this basket, I folded a bunch of our, or like all of our washcloths. Um, and then I also just want to get a little plant to put right here that like hangs down. I think that would look really good. So it's definitely very simple, but it's actually functional, which I know Yusuf really wanted. He is someone who like does not like decor that does not serve a purpose. So um, yeah, I think it looks really, really good. <laughs> Fun a bit. I'm taking a little break from cleaning, ironic enough, because I'm about to make a mess in the kitchen, but um, it's now 1.10 p.m. I don't know why I always feel the need to tell you the time, but I just do. And I have like a little teaching meeting. I'm actually becoming 
oh my god i didn't tell you guys <laughs> okay so change of plans um for this next year i so you guys all know i was trying to find a teaching job it's very hard to find a teaching job right now um it's very competitive because of covid so many things have changed and um it's just it's just hard to find a teaching job so i had gotten offered a job and i was really excited about it um but to be completely honest the pay just wasn't enough and it was something that i could live off of but barely so I just like thought about it for a while um, and then I was talking to my dad and he was like so why don't you what I'm actually doing and I was like I don't know why don't I do that so surprise I'm going back to grad school so um, I start in a few weeks I'm going to the same school that I went to undergrad so I'm going to UMass Boston for grad school um, and I'm doing special education so I'm very excited special education has like always held a very special place in my heart I I don't know I hold a special place in my heart for those special kids so I'm really excited um, about this and I've just felt very like this sounds so dumb it's like not that big of a deal but like at peace with this decision and like not finding a full-time teaching job or about like I feel like this is what was meant to happen again I know it sounds dumb so because of that, um, you know, obviously I'll be busy with that. There's also like student teaching involved with um, grad school. So because of that, I didn't want to find like a full-time job. So I'm going to continue nannying um, and I'm also going to become a substitute. So what I was originally saying is that I just had a meeting for being a sub and I got that done. And now I'm going to make a mess in my kitchen by baking. I feel like whenever it rains or it's like gloomy out, I feel like I just want to bake and eat something yummy and warm. So that's what we're going to do. I'm making, um, I'm looking at the recipe on my phone, but it is chocolate chip banana bread and it is from let me show you the recipe it's from this girl named rebecca lee i believe is how you pronounce her i think it's her middle name honestly i don't know um i can link it down below she's like a tiktoker and i found her through that but she also has an instagram so this is what we're trying to make i've made banana bread before like a healthier version which is what this is but i couldn't find the exact recipe so i'm sure this is gonna taste pretty much um the same but let's make it so i'm not gonna like walk you through step by step because I'll just leave the um, recipe down below. I have my um, KitchenAid right here and I'm gonna add all the wet ingredients first and then I'm gonna throw in the dry ingredients after. So first for wet, actually before I even do that, I need to mash my bananas. So I have my cutting board here. We need three bananas. So I'm gonna peel them and then I need to mash all of them. Does anyone else really despise these like stringy things on bananas? They like freak me out. I don't know why. <laughs> Also, ignore my nails. I'm getting them done next week. I know they're very ugly, so I'm sorry. Hey, wait. <laughs> this is gonna be a montage or like a time lapse. So you're gonna see your face for like 0.4 seconds. What if I just put my face right there in the front? Where? In front of my bananas? Oh boy, I don't care. you through step by step but I guess I kind of am then I'm doing one third of a cup of maple syrup this is kind of like the sugar alternative in this recipe and a fourth a cup of almond milk you could also use like whatever milk you like or use and I have three tablespoons of coconut oil that I just melted down so that was one two and three then I'm going to lower this and mix that all together. Also, I forgot to say, add one teaspoon of vanilla. I just like eyeballed it, but you can measure if you want. And then I'm going to add the dry ingredients. So first, I'm doing two cups of flour. Um, she uses oat flour. I'm going to use almond flour just because I prefer it. If I can get this thing open. Okay, I added my flour. I'm also gonna switch the attachment just to the, um, I don't honestly know what it's called, but this paddle one, just because otherwise everything's gonna get stuck in this whisk and I don't wanna deal with that. So I'm gonna put this one on. I'm adding two teaspoons of baking powder. One, 
and two. Our recipe also doesn't say you need to add this, but I am gonna add a little bit of cinnamon because I think cinnamon makes everything better. And then a little bit of salt. And then however many chocolate chips you want. So I'm using the Enjoy Life ones, they're my favorite because they are dairy free, a lot of like the major allergens free. So I only have a few left in here. I'm gonna add this whole thing. I'm gonna add some from a new bag as well. And then we're going to lower and mix. I'm gonna pause it and just scrape down the sides really quickly. one more time and while I'm mixing I'm gonna just get my pan set up so I'm using a what is this this is an 8x4 just like a loaf pan I'm gonna just put some coconut oil in this and then we'll be good to go looks good I'm going to stick this in the oven at 350 degrees and I'm gonna stick it in here for it says 50 to 60 minutes so I'll do it for 50 and I'll check it really good i think it was in for about like 55 minutes ish my head was just cut off but i'm gonna wait for it to cool and then i will try it so i'll let you know tomorrow like or in this video but in tomorrow's portion how it is but i'm basically gonna be here for the rest of the night eating my banana bread i'm gonna edit this portion of the video and just like hang out i'm actually filming another video tonight which is like a night routine so i will see you guys tomorrow Hi guys, it is um, actually two days later. Let me let me explain a bit. So, um, yesterday or no, when you saw the clip of me making my bed, that was yesterday. I had every intention of filming yesterday. Then I went and got a massage with some friends and ended up spending more time with them than I was like thinking I was going to. So half the day I was just like with friends and I wasn't obviously gonna pull out the camera. Yusuf and I just like ordered in and hung out and so there wasn't much for me to film so that's my excuse for not filming yesterday i'm sorry i know i'm like literally the worst at this and then today it's now 6 51 p.m and we went to like an outdoor mall and i was going to bring you guys and then my battery was dead so basically like i said i'm the worst but i figured i would fold my clothes which i need to do and catch you up on some things so as you can see obviously um, i'm not wearing makeup um, I'm just kind of at the point where I, you can probably hear Sully drinking water by the way. I used to like put makeup on whenever I was going to film and like I still do prefer to like be wearing makeup when I'm filming. Like I'll go and edit this and I'm like, Ooh, I don't like how I look, but it's just not realistic. Like I don't wear makeup every day. Um, if I feel like putting makeup on, obviously I'm going to, but I also just want to be like more, I guess like authentic and not put makeup on if I don't feel like putting makeup on. So that's why I'm looking like this right now. Also, I have glasses. I don't know if any of you knew this about me, but I actually have really, really bad eyesight um, and I wear contacts every day, which is why I'm wearing my glasses right now because I wanted to give my eyes a rest from contacts. So that is why I'm looking like the way I look. But like I said earlier today, we went to like an outdoor shopping mall and we walked around, we went to a few shops. Um, we got like a very limited amount of things. We got a few things that I'll show you in um, a few minutes. But then we actually met up with my cousin and grabbed a beer, we grabbed a drink, which was really nice, um, and just like chatted for a bit. And then we 
started driving home. We stopped up Nordstrom Rack on the way home. Then we came home and we brought Sully to the dog park. I actually did get a few clips of Sully the dog park that I can insert here, but that was super fun. He's so cute. We um, wanted him to be able to like obviously play with other dogs, but there actually were no other dogs there today, which was fine because it meant that we were able to like train him in like a different area than we usually do, which is kind of what you want to do when you're training a dog is like switch it up. So it actually worked out for the better um, and he was really good. He was being very obedient and very good. So that was good. I said good like five times that sentence. Then we came home and Yusuf woke up this morning and is convinced that he has something stuck in his thumb in his like right thumb. He thinks it's like, this is so weird. He thinks it's a piece of the takeout container from yesterday. It was like a plastic container that our food came in. And he is convinced that that is what is stuck in his thumb, like a small piece of that. I'm not so convinced there's something there. I think it might be like a spider bite, but he really thinks there is. So he's actually at urgent care right now, just because Tomorrow we are supposed to get hit with Hurricane Sand, not Hurricane Sandy, nope, Hurricane Henry. And so I was like, if you really think there is something and you can't get it, we've been like trying for like an hour, then you might as well go because tomorrow we're not supposed to like basically leaving our apartment. Everyone's saying like, hunker down, hunker down, is that the word? I think that's the word. Everyone's saying like, stay home. That is kind of what is going on. Yeah, I just wanted to like give you some updates. I want to like edit this video tonight so that I can post it tomorrow because I think it's been like three days since I posted and I usually I don't like to go longer than three days. I'm going to finish clo uh, what finish folding this. I think I've chatted enough and then after that I will show you what I picked up from the stores today. I just finished um, putting everything away so I figured I'd show you quickly what I picked up today. Very, very limited. Also, this fan drives me nuts. It's always in like every frame so I'm sorry. It's annoying. I know it annoys me too but it's a pain to move. Sometimes I'll move it but I just, I can't be bothered right now. But let me show you what I got like in the order I got it. So one of the places we went to was TJ Maxx. You guys know I can't resist a good TJ Maxx and I actually only got one thing so you should be proud of me but I picked up this sweatshirt. Um, I got it in a size, what size did I get? Medium, and I'm usually like an extra small, um, just because I want it to be like super big and oversized and comfy. So this is like very boring, not very exciting. And then Yusuf grabbed one of these like um, reed diffuser things. This is by the company General London Store or London General Store. I'm not sure which, oh, London General Store. Um, and it's in the scent Sea Spice. I don't know, we have one on our coffee table and it like is running out, so we will replace it with that. The only other thing I got actually was, <laughs> you guys are like, what the heck? But it's this little tuxedo for Sully. He like never wears clothes. I don't ever put him in clothes because um, he has like a sweater for when it's like snowing out and really cold like to protect him um and he refuses to walk with it on he'll like walk sideways he's like very strange so because of that i like never put something on him because he just doesn't like it i'm not gonna like torture him but i just saw this and i couldn't resist because it's like so cute and i was like we just got engaged like this would be so cute for a little picture speaking of the devil he's right next to me but i tried putting it on him and it doesn't fit <laughs> it's too small even though this is a large and like this does not look like a large he's usually a medium in clothes but i got a large because i was like this looks really tiny and it's still too small so i'm not really sure what that's about but we tried it would have been cute fit but it didn't so that's actually everything that I got. I know. Are you proud of me? I only got a few things. I have a giant, giant fall haul coming your guys' way very soon. I know it's early. I know it's not technically fall yet. I am just honestly excited for fall. People might hate me for saying that, but I'm excited for fall. I think because Yusuf and I haven't lived together for like the fall, like cozy winter type seasons yet. And so I think it'll be fun to like I don't know just like experience that with him i think it'll be cool so i'm specifically excited for christmas which is very far away but yeah now i'm just rambling <laughs> okay i need to shut up i wanted to give you guys some updates though of our apartment i know i've been like doing this a lot but we just have like been doing a lot with our apartment so we filled our wine rack as you guys can see um again i don't like the height of it i'm honestly considering getting one more because they come in like 
things of three. Like this is two different racks that we just put on top of each other. But I'm considering getting one more to put on top so it's more like even. Um, let me know what you guys think if you think that would look good. My AC is still loud. But um, Yusuf also got a new desk. Let me spin you around this way. Our office is such a mess right now, as you can see. But he got this new desk. It's like a standing desk, so he can do that, which is pretty cool. Um, I'm actually thinking of getting the same one and putting it right there. I think it'd be nice to match, and I just like like the idea of having a standing desk. I think I would love it a lot while I'm editing. But the reason I actually started this clip, oh my god, you can see how messy our closets are. You're not supposed to see them. We need to clean our apartment, like, desperately. But I was going to say, I know this lighting is terrible. I'm just, I'm filming very raw today, as you can tell. Um, but Yusuf is just finishing up at Urgent Care, and remember when I said that he wouldn't have anything in his finger, or I was convinced he didn't? He doesn't. He's such a lovely one, isn't he? Um, no, I'm just kidding. I actually do feel bad, but I, yeah. Anyway, whatever. Um, I also wanted to share, though, my parents are, they live in Florida, as you guys know, and as I mentioned earlier, we're getting hit with Hurricane Henry tomorrow, and I guess, like, they are, like, got hit earlier. I don't even think it's, like, the hurricane hitting them. They just, it's Florida, so, you know, there's always, like, those little tropical storms, but, um, my grandma is visiting them in Florida right now and posted this video, and I wanted to show oh my you. God, go. I can't put this on the screen, though, because, like, it's her video, but I will show you guys. This is my parents' house. Oh my god, there they go. Yeah, that's what I said. Isn't that insane? So like those like there's the chair cushions of like my parents um like pool chairs went in, but the actual chairs themselves are in the pool too. So apparently like it's fine now. It's just raining there. So I don't really know kind of what's going on, but I just was like, oh my god, that's insane. All right, I am gonna actually end this video up here. I'm sorry that this was kind of all over the place, but I hope that you guys enjoyed. This next week is gonna be kind of crazy, so videos might be a little less than usual, but I am planning some fun, exciting things, so just stay tuned. I would love for you to subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see you in my next video. See you guys next time. Bye.